Begin construction, boys, and push onward. Bring me their heads. While oh, these ones just expand, look at our little nest gunners we got. Oh my gosh, just the best. I'm freaking so in love with this game right now. Welcome to the Empire of Ants. I just played this amazing demo and it was one of the greatest things I've ever got my hands on. And I've held actual dinosaur feces. So like that's saying something. Here's a photo for evidence. So now basically I know how to beat this with the most like legit ants army possible. I'm pretty excited to get back in here. The freaking homeowners association where I live just made me throw out my pumpkin for Halloween because I guess someone had one rotting. So leave a like on the video to cheer me up and let's get into it. Okay, first, restoring the outpost in Southern Bello Khan, which is crazy that these ants have names for their cities, but it actually gets crazy in depth. Like, the realism behind this game takes a huge step past, like, ant survival and into their crazy secret ant societies that we don't even know about because we're just like these giants that walk over them. It's pretty freaking crazy, man. This game's actually mind blowing. Okay, so this is us. We're beautiful, a very handsome ants, I might add, like a good looking little dude. We got this crazy butt scar, I'm assuming from combat, which is why we're in charge of leading our own armies now. We've been through it, and we're also a little bigger than the other workers. We're just a little more experienced than everybody else. In the most beautiful freaking ecosystem I've ever seen in any sort of animal or insect simulator. I was just saying, if they drop a Pikmin in these graphics, I'll probably never play a different game in my entire life. Okay, so just right click to control your army, left click to command them. It's literally Pikmin, but with ants, maybe not even a little bit, but I just freaking love Pikmin so much that, okay, I'll stop talking about Pikmin. How beautiful our ants go though. So these are our warrior ants. They kind of look like little wieners, little butt monsters, depending on how you see them, I suppose. They're freaking awesome though. I'll stop saying awesome over and over again any moments, but ants, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The green ones are our gunners, our artillery, our ranged units, and I will they're like the most beautiful ants I've ever seen in my life. Dude, neon green is so freaking gorgeous. They're just, I just, I, I'll shut up now. Okay, so it wants us to put our gunners up here. Dude, the graphics in this game. See, I beat it yesterday, and then I went out and had a few drinks. So I kind of forgot like how beautiful it is, but I still remember what to do. Basically, it's a pretty beautiful situation to be in. Okay, select your warriors and command them to attack the fire bugs. Insect life is one big battle for resources and territory. We're literally not so different from bugs in any way. It's actually kind of glorious. Our gunners freaking letting it rain from up there while our warriors down here snapping necks. That fight was actually over incredibly quick. Some of these guys just get brutalized, dude. Like, just their face bashed into the ground and then thrown. It's actually crazy. This game is literally just New York in the 80s. Scout the enemy nest. Get close to the enemy nest to detect it. Once detected, a point of interest will be marked with a question mark if you are away from it. This part of the game is actually kind of boring, the intro part, but after this, it starts to get pretty crazy. All right, move our gunners up to an artillery range spot. The gunners are, like, kind of slow, so I like to just, like, get them settled before I have anyone do anything. What is trippy is you don't really eat other bugs. Like, at least not as far as, like, I've been in this game. Like, you kind of just leave the carcasses there, which is pretty trippy. I don't know if bug eating will be a thing after the demo. Or maybe it will just for giant other things. I'm just so used to, like, Empires of the Undergrowth and stuff like that where you can eat anything that you kill because ants will eat just about freaking anything. All right, so we got to take the nest. Taking a freaking termite nest for our own. The wars that break out are just crazy. I tried to get in the battle. You just actually lose health very quickly. So I don't think you're supposed to. I think you're just supposed to stand back and call the shots. This is insane. Who threw a freaking warrior? These termites are crazy. How did one of my boys get launched right there? As you can see, the health on the nest is rapidly depleting and it's gone. With the freaking carnage, man. Like this guy just bashing skulls into the ground. I'll never, I'll never get over that. I had no idea ants brutally bash skulls into the ground. It's freaking magnificent. And this is now our new nest. These are our little nest guards, these pale albino gringo ants. Okay, so once it's to make workers, where is legions? It's actually crazy all the stuff you can do. I guess you can't, I forgot you can't really do much in the, in the first part of this. It just gives you freaking defense and legions. But once you get the other like science and other stuff, it, it's actually crazy. Okay, so first it wants us to make some workers. This first part of the demo is pretty freaking simple. So we get the workers cooking up, which will be ready in about two minutes and 30 seconds. While that's going, I'm going to use this opportunity to build some wooden barriers. You really don't get any options in this part of the, in the demo whatsoever, but it's fine. We'll just speed through it. We need some wooden barriers and some nest gunners. 
We don't actually need nest gunners or wooden barriers, but it just looks so much freaking better with it. What we do need is to speed this up by dumping food into the workers. We got plenty of food to do that, so that's fine. Because we need these guys to go start getting us wood from that pine cone. While the little workers start putting sticks around the nest to start building up our fortifications. Like, they're doing good. It's going to cost them or take about eight minutes, but they're freaking amazing. All right, and then our workers head off to the pine cone to gather wood, which is a weird way to get wood, but I think, I think, I think it's wood. So beautiful, dude. They just coat it and just all start biting and ripping and tearing off their own chunks. I hope the god people add the most disturbing mods ever to this game. Like, first we start out light with, like, dog turd. Like, dog turds just placed in your world and your ants just engulf it and eat it. But then eventually we make our way up to, like, dead bodies. That would be so freaking cool watching a thousand of your ants cover some dead dude's foot and just, like, pull off chunks of flesh. God, that'd be peak cinema. And there they go, carrying back their stuff. I'm so proud of these guys. I don't fully understand why they don't all carry something. Is it more like, because some need to pick up the slack if others drop it or just in case or maybe there just wasn't enough wood when they all got it i don't i don't understand the schematics here it's just it's just beautiful plus look how freaking moist all these ants look dude my god they're, they're just dripping with, <laughs> with, with with something all right so the fortifications grow dump the wood in there i'm just gonna speed up the wall construction because now we've definitely got the money to spare sweet Realistically, if I saw this in nature, I'd freaking lose my crap. These ants forming organized societies is just actually kind of terrifying. All right, let's go back into defense. I don't think there's anything else here right now. Yeah. After selecting a legion, aim at the enemy legion's cards. Send your legion to eliminate the enemy termites. It's all just war, bro. I, I always thought humans were like savages because that's this is all we do. But no, it's every species on this planet is just forming organized groups and killing anything that looks different or killing anything for space and resources. Life's freaking crazy. All right, let's get the warriors up front, the gunners in back because the gunners obviously have no, t no defense. Our workers back there gathering more pine cones. I had no idea termites and ants were beefing it this hard. Like, I, I didn't think they necessarily got along, but I didn't think they met in giant packs in the woods and killed each other like English hooligans before a soccer match or a football match. I don't know anymore. Either way, the termites haven't stood much of a chance. I suppose it is just the demo. Or just, this one just killed an ant. Now he's running off. That's insane. What are those little dudes killing a warrior? It's just crazy. Now after, send them back to heal. Pretty cool also. While our workers keep gathering more of those pine cones, dude. I don't know why I'm going so hard on this part of the demo, because it's like a really short intro part, but it's just it's just nice to be productive. Look at him go. Kill the two enemy termite lesions. Alright, call in the gunners there, warriors there, and honestly, kind of want to throw the workers in this one. But I guess there's no need. They need to keep gathering up pine cones that we have absolutely no use for, because we have so many already. It's such an important job. Man, the, the, these green ants clashing against the grass is just tickling some part of my brain that has not been tickled since, like, like 300 came out 50 years ago. All right, boys. Kill them! Call the workers in, too. It's just better that way. Where are the workers? I don't know. It's like a quicker elimination. It just looks cooler. More armies coming together. Yeah, look at them coming in to flank them. They'll all be dead by the time they get here, but nevertheless... Clutched it! <laughs> and then eliminate the other survivors as well. Freaking brutality, bro. This game's gonna be so scary when you're actually outnumbered and overwhelmed and stuff and could actually lose everything. All right, time to wrap up the intro part. I just wanna stand here and let my whole army bask past me in a well-lit, beautiful spot. Yeah, see, we look like one of these guys. We're just much, much bigger, battle-torn and scarred and awesome looking. They're the quickest because they're the workers. They gotta be. These guys are the second quickest because, I don't know, they got those big-ass heads. And then for some reason, the gunners are just the slowest things ever. But watching them walk over this mossy log was pretty, a pretty freaking incredible experience. All right. On to the actual stuff. I'm not really sure how this connects to that. I think that was just uh, like an intro to the game. Because now we're actually in the game. We're approaching a city of fellow ants. It's crazy just walking up while all these other ants are just gathering resources in the most beautiful area I've ever seen in the world. And it's just some crappy little still water puddle with like brain-eating amoebas in it. 
What's crazy too is I always thought ants, if they if you smell different, then they, they just kill your ass right on the spot. But I guess for the sake of this game, we're actually a very noble species of creature. They know I'm not a threat. Oh, you know what it is? I'm I, I'm a worker for the queen that's the favorite daughter of the queen of this city. I guess I forgot about that. It's it's very confusing. So I I don't smell like one of them, but I'm a familiar scent, perhaps. Look at him just cleaning this area out, bro. I'm gonna feel so bad next time I piss into an anthill. Hey, maybe they like it. Maybe they're a bunch of sickos. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was supposed to talk to someone back here. I see the warning now. I did only play it once, and it was very late, and I drank after. Okay, speak with 9,615. I freaking love the ant names. You, you're not from around here. Let me see. Ah, Bello Khan. You're here to see our queen. Follow the column of ants, the ones with food. They will take you to Tu Yani, our beloved queen. Thank you for your help. Anything special to report? No, just thank you for your help. I don't need to get into... I don't need to get in a full conversation with this guy. <laughs> I need to get in a full conversation with the queen. All right. In we go. And here's the queen. Speak with Ta Yuni. Who are you? Come closer. Let me feel you. Dude, that's terrifying. Bello Khan has sent help. Your your mother, Bello Kui Kuni, be blessed. I'm confused once again. The situation here is dire. The flood is unstoppable. Help your sisters in Tuya Khan before its destruction. We will save your daughter's queen, Ta Yuni. <laughs> it, 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 it gets kind of silly. Where does the flood come from? Is there a way to stop the flood? No, this is clearly the only answer she wants to hear. It's highlighted in gold. That's crazy, bro. We will save you. I love the names they give the ants. You got to imagine they're a very different species. They've evolved in a very different way. It's every different cultures and stuff. They're not going to na be named like Erica and Susan. And now there's all these chat bubbles around. So I'm pretty sure that this game is literally just like you arrive into a city, like a town in any uh, MMO or something like that. And there's like shops and people you speak to around that have various opinions and stuff. I think this is who we're supposed to go to. Oh, wait, no. Actually, the exclamation mark looks more important. I've never talked to everybody, though. I'm going to talk to everybody. What's going on, brother? Speak with Posse, whose name is a 1A short from a hilarious nickname, by the way. Ta Yukon's collectible. Hello, Ta Yukon is such a lovely place. I should have spaced those words out. I had to come and help here after the terrible calamity. Thank you for your help, sister. Are we just the sisterhood? The sisterhood of traveling ants? That's insane. Because... <laughs> Pants? Holy shit, that was hilarious. Okay, but what is this person over here? I've never spoken to everyone. I'm actually pretty excited. I wasn't as boyishly charmed by this game prior. I was just enjoying ant life. Whoop! No way, dude. 237th? Dude, he's a high-ranking individual. That's crazy. Can't talk? Busy? Look around. We're all busy. Sorry, I should leave. Damn, that's why he's a high-ranking guy. He doesn't have any time for bullshit. A point of interest has been discovered. Well, oh damn. Is there someone in the jar? Is that where he is? Some sort of mob boss? This is where I imagine a mob boss would hang out in an ant world. Or even just in the movie Bugs Life. This is exactly what would happen. Yeah, gotta get in there. All right, nice. Oh my God, the controls in here are just awful. He keeps wanting me to go up. I don't want to go up. 151? No way. High-ranking gentleman. Let me check your antennas. Oh, so many stories. So many adventures. I bet you've collected everything. Am I right? I think this guy's legit a collector. That's why it said that. I think I have to go. Damn, dude. That guy just read our soul through our antennas. These are some weird interactions. Like, you think you're just dropping a piss jug off in the woods, but realistically, you are creating some crazy ant lore while also dropping a piss jug off in the woods. It's a good question mark here. I don't know the relevance of it. I think it's just specifically this jar we find ourselves in. I don't know. Maybe it'll come into fruition later or something i've seen videos of ants like get together and all pull on a different limb and basically just de-limb other ants for i don't even know the reason like the politics behind it could have been enemy ants or just somebody who's like slacking but i don't know going around speaking to people would be terrifying you're new around here hmm from bello khan welcome and remember stay away from the termites the termite racism is crazy it's gonna take like 50 million years before they evolve past that <laughs> Humans are so funny. Why must we hate each other for our differences? We should be more like the animals. Meanwhile, animals, them goddamn termites better stay away from my daughter. 
You know what? Let's just get out of here. Okay, speak with 230,196. That's crazy, bro. That's a hell of a name right there. When ants die, do they recycle the names or will we eventually be up to the billions? The sister from Belo Khan. When mother said you were coming, a wave of joy was felt through our city. But I need to get to the points. We need help clearing one of our evacuation paths. Right in termite territory. I will go and clear the evacuation path. What a noble ant. Okay, so this is our area. Our evacuation path to get the ants out of here before the flooding has been blocked by numerous termite mounds. We must fight to survive. Develop your outpost while the water lowers. Gather resources from a foraging point. Build a chemical laboratory. Build or upgrade four legions to tier two. Build a super predator legion to help power through the enemy legions. And build a support legion to help your legion survive. Okay, first things first to the question mark. These, each of these is like our own little ant hill. We could have a bunch of different ones and each, each ant hill is capable of producing their own legion. So it's like, it's kind of confusing. You think one ant hill could produce like a hundred legions itself, but no, it's like to keep the population from getting into the millions, I suppose. It's each of these has their own. So we already have two of them here. The game was beautiful enough to start us out with some warriors as well. Dude, this is just amazing. But if you go in the water, you die super quickly. I already fell for that. It's actually kind of heartbreaking. I feel like ants are really good in water, but perhaps just not specifically this ants, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bitch, you know what I mean? So I want to do this right. I want to make sure we have the strongest units possible. There's so many. Last time I went with a bunch of aphid supports, which I'm going to do again because they're adorable. But when they inevitably die because they're useless little turds, they're freaking tier one. They're just goobers. We don't even have enough... I'm going to speed it up with what little food we have. Oh, we should have got workers. Workers was the logical thing. Why am I doing this? I replayed this so I could do it better. But no, but you need aphids at least once. They're so freaking adorable. They're so little. You don't even... <laughs> they're, they're... Here they are. <laughs> Dude, look at just they're, they're, they're amazing. Like, usually you hate aphids because they destroy your flowers and stuff like that. But once you control an action, actual legion of aphids, it's, it's a whole game changer. Okay, we must go to war with the neighboring tribe in order to claim the resources for ourselves. The aphids are going to do the lion's share of work around here because I do want to get them killed because although an army of just aphids would be pretty damn cool too, but that's kind of the opposite of what I'm going for. These little dudes get thrown around like Suko fighting Kong. They're, they're just so cute. Once there's ladybugs implemented, it's going to be awful. Did you guys just in instantly lose? Okay, no, they were scrambling to fight. They killed one of them. That's insane. Aphids get the job done. I think they just win by numbers. It's like zombies. Like, at one at a time, they're easy to kill, but there's so it's a volume issue, really. No, there's a lot of dead aphids on the floor. All right. Reinforcements. Because we do still need the hill, and the aphids are getting... I guess they're, they're not doing terrible, but they're not winning. Where are you guys going? Oh, they're scrambling to the flank. Geniuses, bro. The Roman freaking military tactics implemented by Answer. That dude just got thrown. Like, one gets thrown every few minutes, but anytime it happens, I still crap my pants because it's the greatest thing ever. I wish I could help out in these fights. Like, at least, like, stab somebody. This dude's fighting five aphids, and he's winning. That's why we needed the warriors. We've claimed their hole. I do wish one of us carried a flag that we could place on top of other anthills, but I understand that's not logical. I don't get this part. Were, were they just guarding our anthill? Like, were they just keeping them inside hidden? They couldn't come out? And we had to come rescue it? I think that is what happened. Send the food home, boys. Or women? I think we're all women. Send the food home, ladies. Sounds just as cool. It's fine. <laughs> Every gender's got their cool word. Okay, what we need is workers. Luckily, you can always just kill off your ants, too. That's, that's another reason I got the aphids in here. Because I plan on destroying them. They were cute for a second. Now we need some legitimate, like, veteran warrior melee unit. Does sound great. But we also need for that... See, economy. There's wood yard, freaking mushroom farm, storage expansion, chemical laboratory. This... This is what we need. All right, that's getting built. Wait, what else is there in there, though? We've also got salvage, multitude, pheromone reserves, nursery, chemical laboratory, swarm. Increase the maximum number of legions you can command by one. That sounds amazing. I feel like each of them should have that. My arm is going to be so freaking massive this time. It's going to be disgusting. Cartographers, activity alerts, scout training, sharp antenna, veteran cartographers, traitors, counter spies, elite cartographers, infiltrators. Every time it says cartographer, I think of freaking Halo. And then over here, you got wood barriers, nest gunners, acid gland evolution, veteran nest guards, slime reserves, veteran nest gunners, elite nest gunners, elite 
Whoa. Oh, uh, just... What's the difference between these? I don't know. Stuff frenzy catalysts? Okay, here's our chemical laboratory. Our buildings just look like little ant... Little holes in the ground, man. Big and ants freaking sweet. And now after that, we're able to get just about any... Actually, we still need tier three for these awesome things. But we can make our first super predator. Unfortunately, you can only have one super predator in the whole thing, which sucks. Okay, so we need four legions to progress, which means we need four ant hills. So next, we're going to use these guys to destroy this little ant mound. Or this little termite mound. The freaking termite versus ant warfare. It's just crazy. Actually, these are ants. These are our buddies. What's the beef? Is this not already our hill? What's going on here? I saw whites. I thought they were freaking termites, but they're just ants. So this is just ours then, is it? No, it's not. It's just another freaking ant. Is this what's... That's crazy. I'm confused on the politics of this region. I guess it doesn't make a difference, though. We're going to slaughter him either way. Bodies flying. These guys who charge in right to the hill and just start grabbing people that come out are my freaking heroes. Unfortunately, they definitely die the quickest, so they don't get, like, immortalized, but... They're the best ones, dude. They're the gangsters. Then you got these guys who just hang out in the back waiting for their opportunity. Oh, this moss is so nice to walk through as an ant. It's so pleasing. All right. The hill's just about ours. Rip their families from their homes. Just standing in the middle of the bloodshed. Oh, we have enough food to hurry up the beetles now, too. Send in the beetles. There's not going to be time, but just in case. Nope, they got it. It's fine. Well done, everybody. They work for us now. It's crazy. Ants are literally just a bunch of pillaging colonizers. But I feel like all bugs are. Like, if you let your guard down, others will do it to you. It's a, it's a vicious cycle, bro. Look at these freaking beetles marching in, though. They're magnificent. The cavalry's arrived. Okay, so this time we're going to get some... We need at least tier 2 units. Veteran gunner ranged or veteran warrior melee units. I may just go with that. I feel like because it's got a sword next to it, which means it's clearly badass. This is actually what we do need, though. Okay, so under powers, I think I'm going to go craziest on this. Shielding spores, dash pheromones, rage pheromones, shielding... Okay, that's back to... Ra there, there. Okay, so these are just the tier 3 ones. These are the tier 2 ones. Chitin hardening spores grants a protective shield to 60% of the legion's health. That's just crazy, bro. Rage in induces fury to increase legion damage output by 50% for 30, per sec 30 seconds per charge used. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go freaking. Uh, you know what we need though? We need workers, man. Damn it! I'll, you know I'm gonna make workers and then I'll kill them after. I feel bad about that, but like, we need people to gather stuff, but then also we just need warriors after. Okay, while well, those guys get cooked, because we don't even have the freaking food to rush it, we need to gather this pear right here, and we don't have the food. Okay, once these workers are done in three minutes, they could gather this pear, and we'll finally have a freaking sustainable amount of food coming in. Until then, though, we gotta kill these bastards. Time to put the beetles to work. I actually haven't explored much of this whole area. It's insanely beautiful. But it just always brings me back to my Pikmin thing. Where if there was a Pikmin game with this level of graphics, I can't even imagine, bro. I can unfathom. I've got to stop talking about Pikmin. And boys, slaughter them! The beetles are no freaking joke, dude. Oh my god, just charging down. Literally just the cavalry in some medieval movie. Just like the infantry stands no chance. Even the warriors are massive, to be honest, but the beetles are just crazy. What's crazy is they also die sometimes. What's even crazier is you can't eat the damn thing. So they're just like there wastefully existing, these corpses. Well done, everybody. This is what we need. Storage expansion, mushroom farms, and wood farms. I need to automate all of these so we can just only focus on killers. Okay, sweet. I forgot there's one more massive food clumpage down here being guarded by these bastards. Send in the beetles. The cavalry and infantry are on their way. While the workers are just about done. Actually, we have enough food to finally finish off the workers. Actually, I want to see this. Them all charging over the log is just crazy, dude. They look like the scarabs from the mung the mummy. I said the monkey. <laughs> but the scarabs, dude, those are nuts. We have the high ground, but we have no gunners to utilize the high ground. Oh my god, who threw a freaking dead body at us? That's so beautiful from their perspective, too. Just these things charging down. Straight up vertical battles because they can stand vertically. What a whole other world of murder. Wait till they invent guns, dude. I cannot wait for that to happen. Look at this guy. He's a killer. All right. Victory secured. Send the ants home. All right, buddies. Bring me that pair. We have enough to hurry this one up, too. We do. Oh, my God. You guys bring me that pair also. 
We got two worker legions conglomerating in on the pair. Would not want to be this freaking pair right now. Dude, even the water bugs in the water over there are so beautiful. Oh, the atmosphere is just amazing. Oh, that's crazy. I haven't seen two groups conglomerate onto a pair before. Is there even going to be room? My god. Bro's even eating the stem. No one's that desperate, man. Come on. Focus on the pair. Wow, I kind of want to get like a bunch of worker legions now just to completely cover this pair. But that's not the goal of this video. But man, can you imagine <laughs> how many ants that would be? What's weird is the pair never actually loses any food. I wonder if that'll be implemented later or if it's just going to look like that. Like just an I mean, it is a demo, but like I kind of would think that the pair would eventually slowly get drained of stuff. But I don't know. I'm not complaining. It's still amazing. All right, let's get all this going. Storage expansion. Yes. Well, there we go. I keep trying to do wood yards and mushroom farms at the same place, which is stupid. But I just keep spamming buttons, bro. I'm having a good time. Okay, so now we let the workers fill up on all the food they can carry. I mean, carry, not carry. Maximize those food reserves. And then I kill them all off and turn them into warriors. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our workers maximize our food storages. And then, unfortunately, we got to kill them all off to make room for warriors. But this part's still pretty magical. I'm just one of the gang right now. Actually, I think we need a freaking pine cone. Like, I don't know if we have any wood coming in. I don't think it matters right now, though. I think with just other stuff, we could just like, yes, we'll just produce wood yards for the rest of them, and then it'll be okay. I don't think there is. Oh, no, there's a whole other nest here. I haven't even found this nest, dude. I'm so stupid. I didn't explore much before. I feel goofy. Oh, man, I jumped the wrong way. You got to imagine the beetle showing up would be the most hopeless thing ever. Sort of like an Attack on Titan vibe, really. These things would be so much bigger than the average ants. Ah, uh, but ants are brave as hell. It's not making any difference, though. They're being ravaged in every way. We need more wood yards, bro. They get more expensive every time you build one. I should never have made a single mushroom farm, but I guess I do eventually want to get rid of all my workers. So it's logical. It's just a tough economy, bro. Ants are so funny. They also have to deal with economies and killing people who are different. I wonder if there's any other anthills that I didn't know about. This looks super anthilly. Oh, that's the one we saved at the beginning. Well, then it makes sense. I don't think there's any other anthills for us to go off and explore and find. We're sort of surrounded by this water. That's like the whole issue to begin with is we're being flooded out in the evacuation path. Oh, yeah, the freaking evacuation path. Sweet. All right, so we've got enough. I still need to kill off these workers, but they're doing good gathering fruits right now they've got they've got a lot to do okay so now we've got to find and destroy the termite headquarters my god this freaking log is covered in so many of those bugs we go to war with can you imagine having access to the full map and then seeing something like this right above you that's a straight up like world war something ready to happen right above us i don't know what world war ants are at so it could be like world war 7 for all i know first you gotta travel off to these other groups and eliminate and kill the worker ants they now officially serve no purpose I'll let these guys gather up the food, though, before I do it. So now we just gotta destroy you guys. I'm so sorry. You were good soldiers. You did your part, but ultimately, we just don't need you. I think I'm just gonna go fully melee. Last time, I had a bunch of range, but they, they don't get there as quick. They, they have a lot of good upsides, but they also have some downsides. I kind of just want to charge with one big just melee brawl. Sad. These guys are collecting so much food right now. They're so beneficial to the colony. But ultimately, you too must die. Shoot, I just get like every last drop of food. You got your hand. A couple more bites and we're good. All right. And then they just like scramble off. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, it really sucks. You can only get one super predator. I think everyone's going to want to have an army of giant beetles. And the fact that you just can't do it yet is kind of heartbreaking, but whatever. Okay, while well, we build up our last couple of legions, head on out. Because it's cool, the water like lowered here. Now we're able to access the freaking termite headquarters. It's about to get freaking nutty. I'm so excited, bro. My army's looking so beautiful. Yeah, see, this is what two legions of warriors looks like. Not nearly as much as the other ones, but they make up for it in size. Alright, now we move across the lands. We still have a couple legions being built. But we have a lot of stuff to kill, so it's fine. Plus, ultimately, you have, like, this unstoppable army. I don't think you really even get possibly, like, threatened that much until you get to the, uh... No way, I forgot you can keep on adding. That's just nuts. Yes, more warrior units. Look at all the ants down there we're gonna have. Oh, my God. 
I think there's more hills we could take too. I'll speed these ones up a little bit. I don't like spending the food, but we need the ants. Oh my god, because it's like cost money to repair them if they or cost food. Like it's if you run out of food, you're screwed. All right, just get these ones here too, because why not? And you guys, 60. I'll just spare it anyways. I'm gonna see these. I want to see these massive armies come together so badly. It's worth it. It's worth the resources. I think while they figure that stuff out, we could probably just have the beetles just clear out these little nests. Yeah, because they're shooting at us. Yeah, get them. Get them, boys. The beetles are basically indestructible, so that's just about fine. Okay, you know what? Now you've done it. I think every time we capture a nest, we get another freaking horde of, of bugs, though. By the end of this, you just have the biggest army ever. Slaughter them. Dude, termites are brave as hell. Can you imagine being the, the species that has to go up against ants? <laughs> While being like the same size as ants? Forget about it. Now it turns out ants have domesticated beetles and other giant bugs to do their bidding. Like it's only getting so much worth, worse for every species that isn't ants. This hill is actually putting up a crazy fight, dude. We're losing a lot of people right now. That was nuts. Our beetles are super jacked up. Same with these ants. Everything's kind of jacked up. What are you guys fighting over here? What are you doing? Is there another legion in these bushes I don't see? There are, dude. Oh my god, it's the big freaking termites. I thought those were my own soldiers. Kill them! I forgot the termites get massive. Like, they have their own warriors. The species wars are out of control. Even I'm freaking, like, half dead just walking around. Oh my god, another termite legion. Beetles focus that one. We need the big guys handling the flankers. This is crazy. I forgot how hard termites go in this game. Dirty bastards. Okay, this is the one that the bugs will freaking push on if we ever fall back. You can't control more legions. That's where it gets heartbreaking, bro. How are you going to, like, limit my my legion numbers? I guess it's, <laughs> it's actually a very reasonable thing to limit. But I feel like you gotta know people just want giant ant armies in this game. So you shouldn't cut them short. You can be a mushroom farm. We got plenty of freaking wood. Storage expansion. Good, good, good. Um, everything else. Nursery. Decrease all legions. Recovery. Food costs. Chemical library. I think we need many of those. Either way, this is the one on the riverbank. This is the one that they will attack if we ever fall back. So I'm gonna fortify the absolute crap out of this one. Begin construction, boys. And push onward. Bring me their heads. While oh, these ones just expand. Look at our little nest gunners we got. Oh my gosh, just the best. I'm freaking so in love with this game right now. This poor little freaking termite hill stands absolutely no chance. Oh, they have a bunch of freaking troops flanking us though right now. And you always worry about those. They've actually got so many termites. They're just so small. But they have, they're like a decent foe. Like they're not just like some helpless other critters. They're the freaking Pepsi to our Coca-Cola. They've got numbers, damn it. I can't believe that this is the state of insects. Every time, like the whole time I'm playing this, <laughs> it's just like, I can't believe that insects are no better than us. Dude, I'm still going into the woods like this weekend, I guess tomorrow, and just looking for this specifically. I know there's gotta be giant ant wars going on all over the place, and I need to see them. I guess keep raising our defenses. This one could have, ooh, veteran nest guards. Nice. Acid gland nest gunners. That's enough for now. Look at our nest. These legions keep trying to flank it, but we have such an extreme amount of freaking defense poured out of this thing that no one can necessarily even get close. We need more wood. Wood is always going to be the issue. We've suffered casualties here today. I'm not going to lie to you, gentlemen. Or women. I always get confused. I forgot how juicy termites look, bro. Termites are the juiciest little bastards. You know what we need is potato bugs. Potato bugs are the juiciest looking bug I think I've ever seen in my life. No way is our base hitting them with range from all the way over there. That's incredible. That's that advanced turret system for you right there. It's legit. Because it's so many damn termites. Well, we round up the survivors here. Our next target has been selected. I think we're almost at the headquarters. I don't know. All I know is this is the strat, dude. Not even wasting time with freaking artillery or nothing. Just brute strength charging them down. Oh my god, look at all those freaking termites. Hey, yeah, we need a few people to handle these. At least a couple legions specifically for that. 
I don't know where they're running to. I think they're retreating to their headquarters. Careful catching these guys out in the open, though. They might have some freaking surprises. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's been initiated. And the beetles charging into slaughter. I love when one of them charges just right to the back. You know that guy's got to be the bravest bloodline ever. Oh, my God. So many termites. <laughs> Walked right into that. Oh, my God. So much death. So many dead ants. I can't help but feel like a lot of these ants are my ants. You guys need to heal up, man. A lot of you need to heal so badly. Let's just chill out for a minute. Let's just take it easy. I don't know. There's a lot of termites over there, though. A lot of enemies still in these bushes. You finish off those ones. Oh, no. They're dead anyways. Okay. Everyone heal up. Yeah, there's so many dead bodies, bro. Oh, but most of them belong to them. If we ate these bodies, that's a freaking smorgasbord. It looks like we're being flanked back here. I'm going to send an elite unit to go handle those guys. I don't like separating my legions, but we're under attack. They flanked us completely. It's this, this whole side over here. They keep flanking from over here. Is there a nest over here? There's like a whole pathway. There is. This is specifically where they keep coming from. All right. Clean them out. Call in a full-on freaking army. Beetles stay there. I need the beetles to give us a, a like a presence. <laughs> The warriors invade. The beetles occupy. Actually, let's go ahead and fortify this base so we won't need to even worry about that. Elite nest gunners. That's what I'm talking about. Elite nest guards. The tier three stuff is really where it's at. We're finally able to freaking get to it. All right. I'd like to see him get to this. No water! Oh my god, I almost died. Oh god, I did it again! Oh god, oh my god, oh my god! Even, even the shallowest of water is just a death sentence. Wow, this is crazy. No more flanking for us. That one little legion's about to freaking get our base dead right there. Bring me their souls. Oh no, they got our base. It's like on its last little leg, you bastards. I think it's fetch me their souls, Johnny. Oh right, good, we got here just in time to save it. Oh my god. We need some, um, everything. We need a whole lot of everything here. Elite nest guards, nice. We don't have enough for other stuff. Elite nest guards will be just plenty. Yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Nice. All right, that's all taken care of. Everyone go to the beetles. And then you we build. Damn, I am broke, bro. I need more wood. I need to be freaking having each of these places just go for wood farms. We don't, there, there are a hundred wood for a wood farm. Wow, we lost a lot of people here. All my ants just chilling on a hill. It's crazy. Everyone get them, bro. Freaking legion sneaking past us. God, it's insane. I, I differentiate no difference between this and a horseback army. I, you see ants, I see horses and cavalry. <laughs> it's, it's magnificent. All right, once you guys eliminate the threat over there, there it is. The headquarters. Is there any more threats over in this direction? This feels like a very threat-rich direction. The heat feeding from over here somehow. No, there's nothing. I'm just a freaking schizo. Sweet! Wood farm. All right. I just want to have this one as super fortified as possible because if we lose this or have to retreat in any way, this is the first base they're going to come for. Can you imagine seeing that just roll up on the hill? Oh, they, they clearly... They know what's going on. They're leaving their base. Man, that would, like, shake the ground. Like, from an ant's tiny little perspective, that'd be a ground shaker. All right. Bring them down. Crazy. That thing's actually dying super quick. They got a few legions rising out of there. I feel like the best view is just to get down in there, though. Just to get down in the, sh in the shit. They have a few termite legions. No, they got, like, one... It's weird they're not dying that quick, though. It's because of these freaking fortifications. Like, these... You think ants would just walk right through these sticks? But no, dude. They hold back ants like crazy. The logic isn't quite there for me, but I freaking love it. I wish we could develop moats and stuff also. Guys, bring down the freaking base. What are you doing? Realistically, all these ants can carry these sticks away in like a moment. We gotta get through those defensive legions first. This would be crazy, bro. At what point do you just surrender? I don't think ants do surrender. They're like World War II Japan. Oh my god! Damn, dude, they just got swarmed. Yeah, now we're all taking down these these stick barriers so easy. This is incredible. Look at them all working in tandem. 
instead of just bypassing the sticks and going in the hole too which is just crazy but man it looks so good and it's being worn down too all right when well, you destroy the barrier now destroy the hole oh it's the last little defense That'd be so sad, bro. The very last survivors having to, like, leave the base to go just, like, die holding it off for another five minutes. But I guess you're with your boys. Like, you're with your family. You're with the, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's a good time. You gotta die some way anyways. Why not die defending your home against the giant invasion of bugs and beetles? Gosh, this is so freaking fun. <laughs> this is just peak living, baby. This cutscene after is the most magical thing. There's gonna be so many big insects for us to interact with. There's so much amazingness. Like that snail. That snail was freaking glorious. Wow, this game is like a straight up religious experience. Riding on beetles is gonna be so peak, dude. Oh my God, I forgot he rides on a snail. Damn, this is it. This is living. This is the future of animal games right here. Oh my God, I'm so overly excited for it. A rich story campaign with up to 25 hours of gameplay. Three mission types to suit your play style, exploration, tactical, and strategy. Multiplayer features, 1v1 ranked ladder, custom lobbies, and three player free for all ranked games. Holy crap, dude. This is like every Halo Wars kid's dream right here. Well, I'm super excited for the full game. If you guys watched to the very end, thank you so much. You're awesome, and I love you for it. I appreciate it big time. If you guys want to see more of this game when it comes out, because I'm going to play the hell out of it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>